Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Sword Art Online War of the Underworld 2 episode number 9. Okay, in the previous episode uh, we got to see like Vector's defeat and at the same time it also kind of screwed up uh, their plan and Kirito was left behind. But like thankfully like Azuna is also here like uh, and Kirito is not completely alone and like i don't know like th this thing that we are uh, like uh, 200 years we are going to get past uh, in the underworld and which will result in only a few minutes of time in the real world uh, which is quite concerning because like well it is quite concerning uh, and like i'm concerned about kirito and uh, azuna as well because like uh, in the real world it's like a matter of couple of minutes but they will have to spend a lot of time but at least like Asuna is there like if Kyoto was alone then that would have been like more horrible and like at least like someone he knows and uh, whom he is close to is with him and that's the only kind of like saving thing that uh, like the only thing that is kind of like positive that happened in this whole ordeal so yeah Without further ado, let's get started with Sorat Online uh, War of Underworld 2, episode number 9. I'll be putting the timer and the subtitles here, sync it to whichever is your preference. Let's get started. Alright, I'll be starting the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Uh, okay, so, oh god, ejecting. Okay, so Alice is out. I'm guessing this is Alice. Yes. Well, well, Kyoto is still fighting at this time. Like. So Azuna has no like, she can't do anything, she has to stay. Oh god, well. Now like, in this matter of seconds, I guess like almost like, 20 or 30 years have already passed like uh, no not 20 or 30 years that will be a lot more um, I'm guessing like two or three years have already passed like in this uh, like the short moment before the opening started <laughs> like that's like something like extremely what can I say like it's, it's like the hyperbolic time chamber <laughs> well Like I'm curious as to where the like they're going to take this uh, and like how they're going to end it like um, I'm guessing this is this is like 11 episodes so like uh, 9, 10, 11, 3 more episodes uh, including this so yeah they have quite a long time to like establish something and conclude it as well. And I'm hoping, like, no more enemies come out. Like, Vector is gone for good. Okay. Beyond time. Well, ah, oh, damn. Re 
reopen the bulkhead hatch. One meter cell. Ten years. <laughs> Damn. Oh my God. Uh, Sixty. Ten years. That means. Um. Like in six, uh, six second, one years. When one years pass, uh, one year pass in six seconds. Listen, I'm doing this. Well, okay, so he has some. You still have a chance to see them. Okay, oh my god. Well. Yeah. Like what are they planning? Like they have some kind of trap laid or what? Check out the cable duct. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh God. What are they planning? Like, okay, he he's wearing a vest. Well, still, like, it hurts a lot, even though you're wearing a bulletproof vest. Like, the impact and the velocity. Wait, they killed him? Wow. Oh, I did not expect that, like... Yeah, where is that captain? And here he is! God damn this guy! What's... Wait, who the hell? Wait, wait. Wait, he's dead? <laughs> what? Oh my god, this? Yes! Yes, I was waiting for this. Come on. Now you have, like... <laughs> oh my god yes yes okay so he's dead thank god like I, I was thinking that he's going to start again hmm. okay yes 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 okay now th th this is like this is quality content Oh my god, I'm so happy. I, I don't know why, but... <laughs> Damn, that face. I wanted to see that face for so long. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you got what you deserve. Yes. Okay, your captain is gone, long gone. <laughs> a fitting end. Like, this is a fitting end. Okay, now what they're going to do? Let's see. Like, their captain's already. Is Vasago also like dead? Okay! <laughs> okay, let's see. And here's another sm like over smart guy who's going to like start up more trouble. God damn it. Oh boy. Ten minutes. That means uh, I can't do mental math so quickly. So I'm sorry. <laughs> oh great. Okay. So like they. Blew up the engine room or something? Oh, okay. Oh, great. Yeah, like that, trying to blow bomb it. Oh, it's not destroyed. They are going to destroy it. Okay. Five minutes or ten minutes. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so like, uh... Wait, what was that? Was that like, Alice's? Yeah, then that's the main priority now, like Okay, so he's going to like go to his engine room or something Oh great, that's a death flag. Oh my god these guys Oh. Like, are they really going to kill him off? Like, I don't think anyone is, like, still here. Like, they all. Oh, he's still here. Okay. Oh, my God. 
so like he is acting as yeah oh my god oh this is uh neomon yeah wait is that alice like uh, the thing like kind of started glowing so i thought that that was alice so if that glowing thing was this so is this alice oh no okay it's uh, i forgot his name uh, the founder um what was his name i'm forgetting his name my dream kaiba yeah, something like that isn't it kaiba or something i forgot his name okay so like he was near on the whole a whole of, like all of this time Okay. Oh my god, the yeah. Damn, oh my god. Oh. Oil is dripping. Oh yeah, Akiko. Yeah, yeah, his name is Akiko. Oh. Damn, critical condition. Well, like he still has a little bit of health left. Oh, the regenerating? Why? What the hell? Number two has reactivated. What? Like, was there some kind of backup battery or something? Sixteen seconds. Damn. Okay, like, uh, what is he going to do with that now? Wait, what? What did he do? Like, like, was he like uh, clutching it so that the uh, like blast does not affect the other? Um. Bad luck, dude. Ah, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, indeed. One missing. No, um, oh, yeah, 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 th yeah, that guy.
Wait, wait. So like, oh no, like. Sixty seconds. Damn, they're like all scattered around. Oh God. Oh my god, I think something bad is going to happen. Oh god, uh... Number two is... Wait a minute. Oh god, I'm, I'm having a bad feeling, like... Okay, they're going to end it like that. Well... Like, something is like wrong here. Um, like, they were saying that one body is missing. So, like... Is, like, Miller is dead, we saw that. But like, is like any one of them still like left? Like I'm, I'm talking about uh, the enemy forces. And all of these like, uh, like this uh, episode mainly, not mainly, but completely focused on uh, the real world. So like, during this time, like a lot of things has definitely happened in the other world. Like I'm thinking like. Um, like it was like almost like 10 minutes for the bomb to go off and uh, I'm taking five like 15 minutes like have passed so like if uh, six seconds is equal to one year uh, okay for simplicity uh, it's like 250 or two 300 years have almost passed uh, in the other world like 15 minutes uh, time is equal to that many years Damn. Is there something left? Yeah, it's still left. Okay. Well, 200 uh, years are <laughs> waiting for you guys. <laughs> like, it's a long time. Damn, man. Oh. And... Yeah. Um a long time, damn. Yeah, I'm thinking like it's it's more like two fifty years. Okay.
Okay, that was the end. Next time, Alice. Okay, now I have a question here. Like in underworld, there are definitely humans like uh, Kirito and Asuna, and I'm thinking like 200 years is a lot of time for like simple human beings. So like, like I'm thinking like what is going to happen now? Like a human lifespan is almost like it 90 to 100 years. Uh, I'm taking like uh, the maximum of it. So. Like, I, I don't know, like, are there really humans in Underworld? Because Asuna, Asuna is definitely, like, using that god character. And, like, uh, I can understand that Asuna might be, like, different. And what about Kirito? Like, like, he was definitely playing a human character in Underworld. Like, did something change during this, all of this time? Because, like, first of all, like, he was an exception, only exception to the, um, uh, what was that name? Uh, the code, uh... I'm forgetting the name. Anyways, uh, uh, <coughs> Axiom Churches, uh, that code, whatever that was, uh, uh, it's getting out of my mind. Anyways, uh, he was the only exception. And like after like all of these stuff that happened, uh, he also kind of got the like system admin uh, stuff like those commands and all of those console commands and all stuff like those. So like is he an exception to the human life span now? So like otherwise this doesn't make sense like if like they are normal humans they're going to die at like uh, 100 years so like that won't do like they have to survive for uh, 200 more years for them to uh, come back properly so I'm thinking like obviously like Azuna is like using a god character so I think she is definitely an exception to that like the human lifespan but uh, I'm not understanding Kirito's uh, like what is Kirito going to like is he also like kind of like an exception so that's my question I think like uh, probably that is something uh, like he is also like some kind of an exception to the human lifespan because otherwise this doesn't make sense like they have to like survive if they are to come back to the real world and they have to survive 200 or more years and so yeah uh, that is one thing and this episode like there was nothing much to say and there's nothing much to say about this episode like it was like uh, the real world stuff was been shown here and uh, the only thing worth mentioning this episode was vector's <laughs> vector's demise like i was i'm so happy like this <laughs> this makes me feel like some kind of a <laughs> Like uh, no, like I'm I'm correct. I'm correct in uh, laughing like that because like the way he uh, like manipulated people and like like he he f like he, he was a, like in a nutshell he was a bad guy, like one of the worst type of people that could ever like exist. Like there are certain bad guys who like who after. Uh, like listening to the st story you can sympathize with them and like there are some bad people like who you can say like yeah the, like circumstances uh, force them to do this stuff but no not vector definitely not like like his backstory is also so like twisted and like disgusting like he was a person who like who deserved no pity even after death uh, like in my opinion i don't know like um like like as far as the anime has showed i did not find not as like i found not uh, not a single redeeming point about him like there was nothing he was just pure bad he was a pure scum and for pure scum this is what they deserve like and like i was happy i was really happy like uh, when they like saw uh, like uh, when they showed us like victor uh, woke up and like he was laughing ha 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 like that like I thought like god damn it he's going to start again like he was uh, like he did stuff in that world and he's after coming back here he's going to start doing like doing scummy things here as well and like going to uh, stand in the way of uh, like of them like of Hikoka and all of the others but thankfully <laughs> that was his spirit laughing and we all saw who got the last laugh <laughs> definitely not vector <laughs> like he was like horrified and yeah i was waiting for that like he was like 
he was disgustingly cocky like he like he felt like he acted as if he like he was some kind of a god figure like stuff like those he had uh, like god complex and i i don't know like a soul soul fetishist and all of those stuff like combined he was a pure scum and i am glad that <laughs> he got that ending <laughs> damn it like uh, uh yeah that was good <laughs> I was like waiting for this moment like for such a long time to see like Kikuka's uh, no Kik not Kikuka's uh, Vector's demise and uh, like then we see uh, Kayaba uh, Akiko I think his name was uh, like who's the original founder of SAO uh, like like the funny thing is he like he's also again he's the one who saves Kirito like in uh, season 1 uh, ending he kind of saved Kirito and like Kirito, Kirito and Nazuna were supposed to be dead like uh, Heathcliff killed them and uh, like according to the rules they were supposed to die but somehow uh, uh, Akiko was able to keep them alive just until like the game ends and uh, safely log them out even though Asuna was trapped and that Sugo stuff came out and uh, uh, ALO started and like in SAO he was kind of the guy like he, although he was like the main instigator of the whole incident uh, he was also the guy who helped him uh, ultimately and that, like that does not like uh, forgive his all of his sins but still like he at least like kind of redeemed himself uh, I'm uh, using the word kind of here because like like in in short like he did a lot of more bad things than good things because like he like he was the reason behind so many deaths in in SAO so like uh, whatever he does uh, that won't clear his uh, sins but still like like he at least like saved someone and uh, who here is like Kirito and Azuna and in like he was uh, the person like the savior in uh, SAO season 1 in season 2 that is ALO he's also the guy who saved Kirito and uh, in GGO he was not there uh, neither in Ro Mother's Rosari arc and um, what else and then Alicization no yeah like uh, he was like uh, the, in the main arcs uh, excluding GGO he's the guy who saved Kirito ultimately like in all of these uh, seasons he is the final one who like saves him and the same thing happens here like um, you can say like he saved them by like uh, diffusing the bomb or whatever he, uh, and uh, <coughs> like uh, they were saying like, like uh, when like uh, one thing I was uh, a bit confused but like it, it's not confusing but I was a bit uh, kind of uh, what can I say puzzled that uh, when Kikopas uh, that Neomon his uh, battery gone went down and he was like uh, collapsed uh, he suddenly like got uh, recharged again and I'm thinking like they were saying that uh, this is number two so I'm thinking like that was some kind of a backup battery or something so like he used that uh, backup battery to recharge him and uh, stop the bomb so I'm thinking like that must be the thing like they were saying like uh, Nigo Nigo that is number two and uh, so yeah i think like that was some kind of backup plan of uh him and uh, yeah that was the thing that was all that happened and uh, like i'm guessing akiko's gone now but <laughs> i can't say because like this dude comes back all of the time like in SAO 1 we kind of thought like yeah that's the end of him he's not going to come back but lo and behold he comes back in, uh, in ALO and after he goes out in ALO he even says that yeah this is like the last kind of uh, thoughts of mine which I've inputted inside uh, ALO so like I'm long dead but still like this is some kind of a program that I've uh, pre-programmed in so and then we kind of thought that yeah he's gone like he won't come back again but well we see him back in uh, alicization and uh, he's dead here now but i don't know like he might have still <laughs> like he might have still like uh, put a backup programming in some, some other parts uh, i don't know like he might come back later on i 
like <laughs> this like i can't uh, what can i say like i can't uh, believe that he is dead because like he comes back all of the time and uh, who knows uh, if like kito and azuna uh, faces some kind of difficulty in the future again like some kind of uh, really uh, dangerous situation he might come back who knows so yeah like this was also like kind of like a program so like he, like he's dead we know that like he's not alive anymore but like these are all of this like uh, his what can i say um brain waves or like uh, artificial intelligence that he inputted into different types of things like he was a, like a uh, like he was the creator of sao like sao which kind of like runs on data artificial intelligence stuff like this so like it won't uh, surprise me if he comes back again so yeah and uh, like i don't know how it diffused that bomb i, I think like did he like uh, clasp uh, clasp the bomb like this so that uh, like it does not explode or something i don't know like how he was able to pull that off but anyways i'm not i'm not like thinking much over here uh, the only thing I matters is that he was able to stop the bomb, and uh, like, uh, okay, like, uh, and, and the last moment, uh, like, I'm a bit confused. Not confused. We're probably going to see that later on. What's going to happen? That is like the bodies, and he says, like, the guy with uh, yellow hair. He says that, uh, like, there was one more uh, dead in the STL room. We only found the ca uh, and the other guy said that we only found the captain dead in there. Okay, so like, like, so that means like, uh, there's like a body missing or something. We're probably going to get that in the next episode, and things are going to get cleared. But uh, yeah, I'll be waiting for that portion. And uh, like the way like they're just saying that. Uh, uh, Kirito and Azuna are going to come back in 30 seconds and 15 seconds like they're counting it down like I, I don't know like I'm having a bad feeling like usually in these type of situations something unexpected happens and I hope that I'm wrong but still like I, and I think that I will be probably long wrong because like there are like two more episodes left like what, what else are they going to pull out now I don't know but anyways uh, we'll probably get that in the next episode and uh, then we get that uh, after credit scene where like asuna and kirito uh, i'm guessing like they're going to like spend like 200 more years together and that kind of like seals the situation like uh, like after spending 200 years like uh, i doubt like anyone is going to like <laughs> like pose as a threat to asuna's heroine post position because like they're going to get like a chemistry a bond that would be be un, like be like 200 years strong like just imagine and uh, like 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 i have to be like truthful here like uh, as a heroine like as a uh, uh, what can i say yeah heroine uh, i really don't like like asuna is kind of neutral to me like uh, i don't like prefer her so much uh, as much as I do Sinon and Alice like I really love th those two characters like Sinon and Alice and uh, like even though that will still kind of hold like uh, Sinon and Alice will still be like kind of like number one uh, in this uh, series for me but I think like for Kirito uh, Azuna uh, like I'm uh, definitely after this situation Azuna is definitely the only one because like like just imagine like 200 years um like that's a lot of time and that's like um like their bond will be like so strong so like even though i kind of prefer alice and sinon uh, over asuna but uh, i don't think like um like in kirito's situation asuna is definitely the one for him so yeah like usually what happens like we kind of like project our uh, waifus into the main waifu of the like uh, uh, anime like for example uh, take naruto like uh, when naruto was uh, airing there was like naruhina fans narusaku uh, narusak, uh, saku fans uh, and uh, like i was naruhina obviously 
and like i kind of like uh, like hinata was uh, special to us like as a waifu so like we kind of like wanted now to to end up with her but the same situation won't be over here for me at least because like i kind of prefer uh, alice and uh, sinon but <laughs> like i don't think they are uh, like they are proper for kirito after this situation like azuna is definitely the only one for him and so yeah what can i say <laughs> and like uh, another thing is like um i don't know like they usually do this type of time skips and stuff like i'm i'm guessing like they're obviously going to like time skip this 200 years but like i don't know like um they could definitely like make a spin off of this like uh these 200 years a spin off of that like that would be a good series like i would definitely watch it and i don't know like like it feels as if like we're out of the loop like whatever like what what is an anime an anime is definitely a, a something that we experience along with the main protagonist but uh, in these type of situations like we kind of feel out of the fall out of the loop like that's the thing that happened in sao like uh, he cleared so many levels that we were un weren't able to able to see them uh, like i understand like definitely because of the uh, time limit and all of those stuff uh, and they kind of time skipped it but yeah, it like kind of makes me feel like I'm not a part of <laughs> whatever that is happening and that's kind of like a bad feeling. But what else can we do? Like they can like, uh, they can definitely make a uh, spin-off of these 200 years. But otherwise like they have to time skip for the uh, like uh, series to go on. So we can hope that uh, they at least like uh, plan like on making some kind of spin-off I, I doubt they're going to make a spin-off but still a man can hope so yeah anyway guys that was this episode of so that online uh war of the underworld 2 uh episode number nine uh we're almost at the end two more episodes so be sure to like the video if you enjoyed my reaction and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and be sure to comment down below your opinions about this episode anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out and uh, yeah i'll be back with a new sword art online episode next week so until then goodbye and have a nice day